You know, I was listening to top sales trainer Jordan Adler last night on his weekly call, and uh, he said something that re I thought was really profound about not doing anything that you do alone. You know, it doesn't really matter what business you're in or what business model. You leverage your time and you compress your time um, with those you're training by having them go along with you. You know, there's the the old see it, do it, teach it model. Um, when you have somebody on your team, regardless, of, I don't care if you own a pet store or if you're in network marketing or, or you're a banker, um, having somebody go along with you while you're doing it is a chance for them to learn in a real world scenario. You know, my dad spent his life teaching police officers and SWAT teams how to deal with real world scenarios. You know, only so much can be taught in the classroom and only so much on video and, and, and so much in manuals. Uh, the, the real test came when they were out in the real world where the unknowns come up. And that's what people are really fearful of. So I, I was really convicted as a team leader to make sure that every time I go to do something, I call and say, hey, is, who's available? Who wants to come participate with me uh, as I go forward so that they get the opportunity to hear how I do it? doesn't mean that I'm doing it perfect, but they get some uh, real world examples of, of how I do it. And that might help them better understand for themselves. It's it's a multi-sensory experience. You know, just reading is just great for visual learners, but there's auditory, visual, kinesthetic, and a combination. And when you incorporate somebody from your team into the uh, mixture of how people learn and the different ways that you do it, I don't care if you're doing dials or you're doing home parties or you're knocking on doors, bring somebody along, let them observe. If they can't be there, record it. Uh, I've spent the last half hour finding a new way to record uh, what I do in audio, trying to improve that. Um, but uh, thank you, Jordan, for that uh, challenge. And I challenge the rest of you to, to take what he said to heart and uh, don't do what you're doing alone. You actually are growing the business by calling somebody and say, hey, if you just want to come observe, come observe and see what I do and let them learn along with you. Thanks.